Hello, and congratulations on your purchase of a humidity kit. This device is perfect for relieving the pressures of having to constantly refill and monitor your incubator's humidity levels. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to install and operate the humidity kit with your incubator. Here is everything that comes with the humidity kit. A water bottle which keeps the device supplied with water and its specially designed cap. We have our connecting tube which plugs from your device into the incubator. Here we have the humidity kit base which houses all the electronics. Inside the middle of your device you will see a round black disc. This is the atomizer which creates the mist to increase humidity. Finally, we have the Hygrostat and Humidity Sensor. This part of the humidity kit measures humidity and tells the humidifier when to turn on. First things first, we want to make sure that the humidity kit is switched on. Go ahead and check the back of the device to see if the switch is in the on position, which looks like a minus sign. You should hear an audible clicking sound when switching the device into the on position. Remove the plastic cover on the screen. Next, we will double check that the incubator size dial is on the appropriate setting for the incubator we are using. Smaller incubators will need to be turned all the way counterclockwise, and cabinet incubators will need to be set to the most clockwise position. Tabletop incubators, such as the IncuView, will need to be adjusted to the medium range. Now we will change the humidity set point. This is accomplished by holding either the plus or the minus buttons until the digital screen flashes. Once the screen flashes, you can now edit the desired humidity level. In general, we find it best to maintain a humidity level of 35 to 55% during the incubation period and 60 to 80% during the hatching period. Now, for one of the most important steps in using the humidity kit, the sensor must always be kept inside the incubator to make sure it is correctly reading the humidity level. We recommend keeping the sensor out of the way of moving parts inside the incubator. In order to properly connect the humidity kit's hose, please remove the air hole plug on the top of your incubator. Now attach the water bottle onto the top of the humidity kit. The weight of the water will keep the bottle secured in place. When connecting the tube to your incubator, it is important to keep the tube in an arc shape like this. This will keep water vapor from blocking the tube. The humidity kit will not power on unless the set humidity is higher than the humidity level inside your incubator. Let's turn up the set humidity level to demonstrate what it looks like when it is powered on and producing humidity. Now everything should be operational. The best way to tell if it is working is the green light on the front of the humidity kit as well as mist being emitted from the end of the tube. Now you are all ready to control the humidity levels in your incubator. Happy hatching!